गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हाउ इज द एनर्जी कैन ऑल ऑफ यू रिस्पॉन्ड हाउ इज द एनर्जी कैन वी गेट इट बेटर लिट इल लाउडर हाउ द जोश ग्रेट सो रियली ग्रेट टू हैव सच लवली पीपल राइट इन द बैंगलुरु एंड ग्रेट टू हैव ऑल ऑफ यू आई थिंक after such a such a person coming here and uh, blessing all of us right you know it's very hard for me to uh, uh, match the level of energy that he has shown but let me try so i'm not going to talk about you know lots of uh, you know knowledge and everything that you heard i think that is already flowing and that is enough in this room uh, are you guys ready to hear a story a story a normal story not a you know big level ai chat gpt right machine learning so those things i am not going to talk but i am here going to talk about a simple story are you guys ready i want to hear a better response great so this story is of a person called harini okay but she will be into introduced into the story little later so there is a person called uh, chandra who is working for a multinational have got you know a uh, working experience of more than a decade he is also finding that lots of his ideas that he is pushing uh, or he is giving to the company is not being accepted however that is a market reality and that is a kind of gap into the market right so and that is when he changed you know three to four different organizations but at most places he is finding the situations are same so at the last he is deciding that i should do something by my own because market has you know this kind of gap and you know this needs a serious attention however to the companies wherein i am working because the processes are more bureaucratic right and the changes change management is like you know uh, a complex process i am not able to do it so this person chandra decides to build a product around those gaps that he has identified into the market okay so after this what he sees that uh, you know he is good in development probably he has few connects with the customers and uh, he started working on a pilot he also validated that with a set of his existing customers and he got uh, you know positive feedbacks around it and that is when he thought that you know he should scale and he should build a big product or big company out of it so that he can serve the larger audience so at this place he recognizes that he is not sufficient and uh, he thinks about you know whom to involve into the business right so chandra remembers his college days wherein you know he had his friend called harini right uh and with the help of her he was able to pull some of really good events into the college right and uh, he was able to organize some of the great activities and also engage the entire college students at that point of time so he thought though it is longer period of time now you know because from college to you know 10 15 years into the corporate but he still thinks that if i can go and if i check and if he she agrees right maybe again we can pull it off so he realizes that after his engineering he went to into the job harini you know also went to the different uh, you know 
studies and different kind of job and finally harni is a, is working into the hr right and that may uh, that uh, you know that is the current situation in which harni is so he start taking feedbacks from harini that uh, i have so many problems right because running a business or starting a business is not a small thing right uh, i might be good at maybe understanding the problem or i might be good at uh, solving the uh, problems of the customers but making a business out of it sustaining it over the period of time is not a small thing right so i'll tell you what kind of confusion he had right so chandra shares to harini that harini uh, i am really not sure that what kind of people to hire right and whom should i hire because i see you know somebody who is having 30 40 years of experience into the domain somebody having 10 years somebody is having 2 years right somebody you know salary is as less as maybe 3 4 lakhs and somebody is you know a few people who are earning as big as you know maybe a few crores right so these were the kind of dilemmas that uh, you know this person uh, now because he is wanting to run his business so mr he is ceo chandra right he is having and that is where you know he is trying to seek what kind of things he should do so on on all of these confusions you know harini guides him that you should hire for the people right looking at what kind of business outcomes that you are looking at and also the kind of kind of you know pockets in terms of investment that you have right because you have to sustain it for the few years of time if you are not able to do it obviously it won't fly right so this is one suggestion that she gives so she also tells that what kind of expenses you should make versus the revenue so this is one advice second you also understand that there can be many people right who are really good at many skills but do you need all of that right and can you utilize them 100% right so what percentage of their skill sets you can utilize right so now somehow this kind of validation and these kind of inputs started making sense for mr chandra right and he he was able to hire a few people right then he was also not sure that what kind of compensation right because people are they are in the all salary brackets right so she also helped him that not all the component should be fixed right the, there could, could can be certain components that are com- going into the fixed there can be certain components that are going into the incentives there can also be certain things like you know stock as an option so that people are taking more ownership so this way mr chandra was able to hire a few person and he was able to run his business for you know the first year you know in a very well manner but then at the year end he is also realizing that there is a problem that people are expecting a raise in their salary right being a first generation entrepreneur that is you know something uh, though people are expecting and he has also expected that in the past so he was very much able to relate to what people are going through but he was not able to really handle because he had never forecasted so again harni tells that uh, how people have grown and how people have contributed versus what kind of growth opportunities they have in the future and that gives mr chandra some amount of confidence that how he should be reacting about this particular situation 
what happens in this journey harni goes to a college and she uh, she meets an college student called ishita right ishita that point of time you know she is also you know coming from engineering but that is not something that she has enjoyed in the entire four years and she is not clear that which company to join which job to choose nothing of that right so but just to give a try she has sat into this interview wherein harini was there and harini uh, you know she expressed into the interview that i am really not sure so i am also not sure that you know whether i should join your company or this particular job or which particular job and that point of time harini asked some of the questions that has provided an opportunity to explore uh, her that on what all aspects she is good at on what all aspects she can build upon right and finally she decided to pick a job you know more, uh, something in the sales another problem like you no know, now she has a job she has started working but after 3 months she has again started realizing that what will be my growth what will i do after 3 years what what will i do after 4 years or 10 years down the line so on these occasions again she has shown that there are some people outside of the organizations or inside the organizations who have joined with the similar kind of background that they have grown right then after one year again she had a problem that okay uh, what kind of growth i should be expecting what kind of uh, you know rewards i can expect because ultimately she was also having more liabilities from the family end and the inflations were there and all of that so in these cases you see like beat uh, ishita who is an employee or mr chandra who is an employer or a ceo they both had different mindset and different dilemmas and i think that is where harini or maybe most of you right so this is just not the story of harini this is actually the story of all of you right this is where all of you are contributing right so i was not wanting to touch upon a very big topic but i was again wanting to touch upon that basic question wherein how startup systems are coming into the india how startup companies are coming into india how are they starting so all of you have made this city what it is today so first of all please big up put a big round of applause for all of you without you this city would have never been like how it is today right lots of startup companies and lots of conglomerates have come just because you really face the dilemma of these two parties right employees and employers and you are that bridge who are patiently listening both the parties right uh, going three going through hell lot of things you know whatever they thinks whatever confusion they have right and acting like a torch bearer so that they can be at the peace and they can really do the meaningful work otherwise the organizations will go haywire right so that's why you don't have to just manage your employees but you have to manage the whole workforce ecosystem right and right now you know for the simplicity simplicity uh, shake i just you know chose two actors ceo and employees but if you also see like this there are your department heads there are you know external auditors right there there are uh, there are you know competitions all of that co is coming and that creates lots of confusion just think about you know your competitor is getting a funding and your ceo is wondering right that as an organization what you guys are doing right uh, what your employees are doing if in those cases 
HR people are not playing very strong roles that will actually break the organizations. Right? So I have lots of respect for all of you. Again, I, I want all of you to rethink, you know, let's go, to back, let's go back to the basics that the very important role that you are playing being bridge between employee and employer, uh, that's a, an excellent job. Without you, none of the companies can survive. However, because both parties are having their own confusions and lots of things, you know, throughout the day we have learned, if we don't focus on, upon the quality and we just focus upon, let's say, compensation, that will also break the organization because quality always beats your competition, your uh, revenues, and you know all of that, right? So you also have to be that strong person, sit with your CEOs, negotiate with him or her that if I don't do what is fair for the organization and I, if I just listen to one side, right, it won't make a, a very good impact on the organization in the long run, right? Uh, <coughs> And that is where, uh, you know, there are many technologies and even the companies like us, we want to be help to all of you, right? So that we can provide you data-driven uh, analytics and data-driven approaches. So that, because when you are just saying versus when you are able to produce that these are the kind of growth rates that have happened in, let's say, last three quarters, or last four quarters, or in the last four months, it makes a lot of difference. Without data, nobody is going to listen to you, and even you won't be feel confident, right? Your employees will also not feel confident if you know their performance goals, performance reviews, data, etc., are not captured, right? And the good employees will only stay when they feel that the review systems and reward systems are very fair and transparent. I think uh, th there is already enough emphasis upon this, but. Uh, we have also seen in lots of organizations the kind of OKRs that is written or the kind of goals that is written, right? It is not good enough. So please revisit. I think AI is already helping all of you in the great ways. Also revisit that what kind of competencies are required for each of the job functions and each of the job roles because that will make a lot of difference. Your employees, if you are asking every day that what have you produced, right? Maybe one time, two times, or three times, but after that, it becomes a very boring conversation, right? You should be, or your manager, or your whole ecosystem should be able to offer a real help. That cannot happen if you have not mapped the kind of competence, the kind of skill sets each people are, need to have. If those you have captured, Trust me, even managers while giving the feedback, they have to think 10 times and evaluate on each of the parameters that, you know, where all my employees did good, where all my employees need an improvement, right? And what all things or skill sets also required for my organization. Please understand that human resource can become your competitive advantage. It is not a support function only. Right? If your employees are feeling that my managers, my company, my department heads are interested in to my learning and growth, and that, that can just not happen by talking that, hey, I am interested, right? You have to map their competencies required. You have to provide them feedback every quarter or every half year so that they are also knowing that, okay, what matters to my organization? Have I grown or not? into those directions and ultimately those skill sets will become your organizational skill sets. Without this, you know, you, you and maybe your competitors might also doing the same job, right? Trust me, there is absolutely no difference, right? Also, uh, you can reward maybe achievements, but rewarding achievements is not sufficient. 
just to give you an example, one person might be doing great because this person's predecessors did a great job. In the recruitment world or in the HR world, if you see, let's say if you had a great uh, person who did a you know, great marketing of your company or maybe there was a great salesperson who did great sales effort into the field, the results will be coming in next two years also. So if you are just rewarding based on the achievement, that is not a fair thing. There has to be enough focus on competencies and skill sets. Right? So I think these are the few dynamics that I was wanting to put and I, want, I was wanting to give so that all of you are aware, uh, uh, I, as you are aware that I am from KK, so we have beautiful uh, performance management system along with the whole human resource suit. Uh, and it integrates well with AI and ML, what is available these days. And uh, these kind of things that we have talked in terms of competencies or goals, etc., or OKR, all of those are available. Uh, and we also have internal people who can guide you and coach you that how those things should be written, how those things should be evaluated because feedbacks may the, you know, great amount of difference uh, and any feedback does, does not matter. The good feedbacks restore the faith and trust of the employees and trust me, if it is not a good feedback, it also breaks your employees. If your managers are not knowing how to write good feedbacks, if as an organization your ability to capture feedbacks or define the components on which you should be giving feedback is not strong, trust me over the period of time, there will be only lousy people, right? Because the great ones are looking for growth, career and opportunities. Year one, you did every job, you know, they will leave, let's say, 20% of your top people are leaving. Next year, another top people will leave. And in four to five years, you'll set to become a mediocre organization. Okay? So with this, I, I want to end my, uh, you know, uh, discussion here. Thank you very much. And if you have any question, I am there. Uh, all of you can, you know, touch base with me. Thank you.